Hey guys, uh, sorry I'm a little late. Um, just got finished uh, emailing a uh, a guy about uh, following his dreams. Um, something I'm I'm passionate about. And so uh, anyway, you guys came here to see to learn um, how to uh, you know structure your diet and uh, and maximize your performance. And so the first thing we're going to get into is, uh, you know, sorry, your diet represents 80% of your results. And um, give me one second. Okay. All right. Your diet represents 80% of your results. Any training program is only as good as the recovery that follows it and the food that fuels it. And so um, the first thing what guys, what a lot of guys like to ask me, um, I, and I actually got asked this last week, is, you know, what supplements do I take? Um, how much protein do I eat? And I'm going to get into supplements later, but uh, right now, let's get into the basics. So you have the three um, major nutrients that you take in when you eat food. You have protein, carbs, and fat. Now, protein is, you know, it's basically what your muscles are made of. Um, when you eat, um, when you when you train and you work out, what your what your body does is use use it uses the protein to build the muscle. And, you know, especially when you work in hypertrophy workouts and things like that, and it helps to build the muscle and, you know, build you up and, and uh, repairs tissue and that, type, and that type of thing. Carbs are the energy that you use to, to uh, fuel the whole process to work out when you train, when, when, especially when you're doing uh, high-intensity um, high sprints, lifting weights, all those things that that taxes that takes carbs, you know, it's, it's uh, glycolysis in your in your muscles. It uses carbs. So when you're training, carbs are what your body are using as as a fuel. Um, so we, you know, and then we get into fat. Fat is also an energy source, but you burn fat mostly when you when you get past a certain point. So, like for example, you get an aerobics aerobic workouts. Those type of things burn fat more, but you can also burn fat by going into a, what we like to call um, a negative calorie balance. So when you burn more calories than you eat, and I'm going to get into how you can start manipulating that stuff later. Um, so, um, so like I said, so what what should you eat? What should you eat? Um, so. Your diet should be about sixty percent pro. You know, sixty percent, sixty to 70% carbs. You want to keep the, the carbs on the complex side. So you have simple sugars and then you have complex sugars. Simple sugars are things like table sugar, um, candy, a lot of sweets. Uh, there, you know, there's a lot of simple sugars and fruits and things like that. Um, but you want to kind of you want to you want to kind of keep those in, uh, in limited amounts. You want to eat things like starches, um, you know, fiber, uh, things like potatoes, whole grains, that type of thing. And so you want to you want to keep most of your carbs on the complex side. The times when you want to eat sh simple sugars are directly before and directly after workout because those because it sends it it puts it. Um, um, right into your blood flow and enables you to use that those sugars right away and so for example like when you after you lift and you take a shake you drink a shake well that's what that's how um, your body delivers that th those those carbs to your system you know those those simple carbs that go right to your system and your body uses them that's why you have um, you know, before a workout, you want to eat foods with a, a high glycemic index because you get that spike, that spike in energy, and you want to keep it up as you train. What a lot of guys do is um, they may eat, you know, something before and after workout. You also have to eat it throughout the workout or drink something throughout the workout, which is why you get Gatorade, things like that. Eat it throughout the workout to keep those energy levels up. So how should you eat? 
So, okay, first I'm going to get in what you should eat, and then I'm going to get into how, how you should eat as an athlete, as a football player. So, as I, as I, like I said, your, your carbs should be about 60% of your diet, mostly on the complex side, whole grains, starches, that type of thing, um, and, then, and then fiber also. And then um, you, you want about, say, 20% of your, of your diet to be protein and 20% fat. Now, when guys hear 20% fat, they think, what? You want to eat a lot of fat? And yes, as an athlete, well, fat regulates a lot of our, uh, it regulates our testosterone. And so you don't want to eat low levels of fat as an anaerobic athlete because, you know, we need testosterone. Testosterone is how you get stronger. It's how you build muscle. So you want to keep high levels. And it also has other, other, other functions too. But you want to, you know, you want to eat about 15, no, no more, no less than 15%, but about 20% fat in your diet. And protein, you want to keep that about 20%, you know, about 20% protein in your diet. And that can fluctuate based on what you're trying to do. So if you're trying to, um, if you have a negative calorie balance, you're trying to, um, and, and you need to keep a, a lot of protein in your diet because you have a negative calorie balance, then, and you're trying to put on muscle, then what you need to do, and, and I'll get into that later, but what you need to do is up the amount of protein that you eat in order to make up for that negative calorie balance. And so, um, so that's about, that's the gist of it. You know, you also have your micronutrients, your vitamins, your minerals, those type of things that you want to make sure um, you get enough of. When it comes to micronutrients, your vitamins, your minerals, um, I recommend a lot of times as a supplement that guys take a, uh, a, a multivitamin, and this is because most of us don't get all the nutrients we need from our food, 90%. And so, in order to fill in those gaps, um, I prefer you try to do it with food, and you and you you kind of get into what micronutrients are in the food, and um, you know, kind of go and see the daily values, and try to and try to get all those into your diet. Um, but if you can't, I highly recommend a multivitamin. And like I said last time, I'm not big on taking subs, so maybe you can take half a multivitamin. I'm, I'm, I'm not big on taking pills, but the multivitamins help you fill in those gaps. So if you could, you if you want to, you could you can um, you can put in half. So give me one second here. Um, so yeah, so 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 what? Yeah, okay, so. Supplements, um, and if you guys have any questions, you can start typing them in now. I'll, I'll start. I'll start asking them as I go along, but I'll ask them as I, as I go along. But um, so supplements, um, a lot of guys ask me creatine. I'm gonna get into that one first because I know that's what that's what guys want to hear. So creatine, should I take creatine? Creatine is it works. It, it really, it really works. So creatine is um, when you're taking it. It is a supplement. It's supplementing something that's already there. So you are, you have creatine in your muscles. It's in limited amounts, though. So when you supplement with creatine, you're adding um, something to your muscles. And and what creatine does is it is it's it's part of the fuel for uh, when you do short bursts or extreme sprints or lifting heavy weights, that type of thing. That's what creatine fuels. And it's in limited amounts. So that's why, you know, you can only sprint for so long or you can only hit, lift heavy weights for so long before, you know, you, you hit that wall where you can't sprint or you can't lift the weight anymore. And it's because your, you know, creatine is in your muscle in limited amounts. It gets depleted very fast. It gets replenished pretty fast too. You know, it takes about three to five minutes to replenish itself. Um, but it, 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 um, it, um, it, it's what fuels, you know, short sprints and things like that. Like I said, multivitamin creatine. So if you take creatine, I would recommend that you do so, um, you do it moderately. You know, I said this last week, but the, the, the bottle told me to take 10 pills and I took four and still saw great results. You know, I would, um, blend, blend them into my shake, 
but I blended. They were pills. I would put them in my shake and blend them, and I got great results out of that. Creatine actually helped me push past a lot of plateaus that I had hit. In addition, with doing other things, you know, I um, got on the sled and other things like that. But creatine actually does help. I would, I would, I would caution guys to use moderation. Everything in moderation, you know. You hear all, you hear about these liver failures and kidney failures, and because guys go ham on it, and they shouldn't. You know, you shouldn't. Um, you shouldn't try to load up yourself and all that type of stuff. I wouldn't put that put that stuff in my body in, in those amounts. But, you know, start slow, start moderately and test it and, 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 and kind of see what it does for you because um, we're all different and we all get different results from different things. So um, other supplements, protein, yeah, of course, if you're, like I said, most of us don't get everything we need from our diet. And that goes for sometimes the macronutrients too. Like sometimes it's just you can't eat enough meat in the day to get the protein you need. I mean, um, uh, the the way that we're supposed to train, eating almost becomes a chore. And I was just talking to uh, the guy I I started. I told I, was, I told you guys I was talking to a guy about pursuing his dreams, and he said the people at his job were telling him that he seems like he's overdoing it with how he's. Um, uh, how he's eating and, 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 and measuring his diet and that's actually how it should be. People should think like, Lord, are you crazy? Like, why are you, why are you um, overdoing it like this? And so, um, excuse me for a second. And so, so yeah, so um, yeah, so you should be um, sorry, I lost my thought. You should be um, measuring everything that goes into your body. You know, you should be everything. You should be weighing everything. You should be measuring everything because your food is what you use to to go, to push, to sprint. To to your food is the energy that your body uses to do all that. So if you're not making sure that 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 fuel is is you know. 100% legit, you're limiting yourself. A lot of guys don't think diet matters, and it does. I can't tell you how much of an edge that gave me. Um, I, I pulled my hamstring. I, I was um, I was uh, it was three weeks before uh, NFL tryout uh, with the 49ers, and I was going hard. You know, I wanted. You know, I was trying to get in there. I wanted to make it, and I was and. I pulled my hamstring three weeks beforehand, and I and I can guarantee about I'm about 95% sure that it's because of my diet I wasn't eating the way I was supposed to be eating to go with how I was training. So, with with the training that you're going to be doing, especially with with the program, you have to make sure you know your your diet is structured properly. So, okay, and that's and that's what I was getting into how to structure your diet. So, first of all, create a meal plan. You know, um, you should you should have a meal plan, and a meal plan does two things. It lets you it 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 actually helps you with your grocery bill because you know how much you're gonna spend every time you walk in the store. You know, and it also helps you to log your meals more accurately because if you have a meal plan, you already know what you're gonna eat. So as long as you eat it, you know you 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 eat it, then you know what you're gonna log. You don't have to sit there and um, you know, have the pen ready all the time. You just mark off what you ate, and you know how many calories and how much, uh, um, you know how much is is in what because you've already built the meal plan. And so, and if if if, if any of you guys uh, want to do that, email me. Um, I can help you uh, build a meal plan um, at Dennis at cornerbacktraining dot com. So, um, yeah, so. Let's see. We got into meal plan. We got into so, so oh, calorie management. So, in your, in your, in the hypertrophy phase of the program, your whole job is to is to build muscle. I mean, that's what you're trying to do during the hypertrophy phase is build muscle. And in order to do that, you have to have a positive calorie balance. You have to basically be eating more calories than you burn. In order, so. Um, you have to make sure, in order to make sure you're doing that, there are some tools out there. One I like in particular is the Body Bug. Um, I'll put this on the site. 
but it, it actually helped me to see you, it's a band you put on your arm it measures your calories burned and things like that and you can see that, that you, you plug it in you can see little graphs and it shows you um, the calories you were burning and so you can tweak what you're eating in order to meet to the needs and the calories that you're burning so that you get um, you can you can get that positive calorie balance and put on muscle you know I was I was training hard I was in my hypertrophy phase I was training hard and I couldn't put on any muscle and as soon as I put on the body bug I saw that I was burning 37 I was burning 40 4500 to 5000 calories but I was only eating 37 I was only um, yeah I was only eating 3700 and when I saw that I was like oh, okay wow I, I need to eat more and so I started to add the extra calories and the muscles came like that so um, you know a lot of guys ask how do I get big the biggest thing is your diet your diet represents 80 percent of your results like no joke no lie so um, if you guys have any questions if I left anything out please let me know um, I, I, I was um, I was just um, talking to a guy and uh, it's something I'm pretty passionate about and it's the reason why I built cornerback training and, and um, greatcornerback.com and it's a guy I was talking to he's trying to pursue his dream of becoming a professional football player now I'm gonna I wanna want to get into his whole his whole situation but um, the reason why I built this is is for guys to to get knowledge that they wouldn't get elsewhere and to take it to the next level um, you know everything that I'm saying here is from my personal experience and things that I've been through and you know and also from from study and research and things like that but most of it is a lot of it is from um, my personal experience um, and I put this thing together for guys who want to you know who really want to take their games to the next level so I don't I want to I don't want to get into it too much but um, if you guys have any questions Um, we can get into it. So like I said, your diet is 80% of your results. Um, you want about 60% carbs on the complex side. Um, you want um, about 20% fats and 20% protein. Your protein um, preferably should come from lean meats and fish, you know, chicken breast, um, lean beef. Um, yeah, lean, chicken breast, lean beef, beef, fish, that sort of thing. And uh, and if and if you're not getting enough, then you can sup. Then you supplement with you supplement with um, with excuse me. You supplement with um, <laughs> you. Yes, I can, Mamu. Um, you supplement um, with um, with protein powders and that and that sort of thing. So so. Um, as far as fats, um, you you have your omega threes, omega sixes. I mean, I'm sorry, omega yeah, omega three, omega sixes. You want to make sure you get in the amounts, the correct amounts of those. And if you go to um, greatcornerback.com to the my diet section, you can get a lot of this information um, about about how much fats and 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 you know that sort of thing. But what I what I want to do in this hangout is is to really is to pound home the fact that diet matters. You know, it 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 really matters, especially when you're trying to perform at high levels in this game. Your diet matters, it and and so um, you know, I I could I could see it um, when I can tell when guys are eating right. You know, because I've done it and I've seen guys who who who've done it. I can tell who's putting the right fuels in their body and who's not. You know, when you when you eat right and you hydrate, you pushing through a game. It's nothing. It helps you push through games. It helps you, um, you know, increase power faster, increase strength faster. You know, along with sleep, good rest, and the right training program, that type of thing. So, um, if you guys have any questions, um, I'm, 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 uh, I can start answering questions right now. Let's see. Give me one second. Let's see. Cheat meals. Okay, so Lauren Buchler asked me. I hope I'm saying that right. Buchler. 
asked me, can, do I believe in cheat meals? Uh, Lauren, yes I do. Um, I have a cheat meal that I do every two weeks. Um, I kill a box of Oreos, a whole box. Just take them out. So, yeah, I do believe in cheat meals. You know, you 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 kind of have to reward yourself for for staying uh, staying consistent. Um, yeah, that that's kind of mine. Uh, I take a whole box of Oreos and take them out. So yeah, I would. Uh, I, I I do believe in cheat meals every now and then. Like I said, every two weeks. About what's your view on taking Gatorade during workouts? I like I love Gatorade. Um, like I said, you should be taking you should be um, you should be taking in carbs throughout your workout to fuel it. You know, you want to fuel your workout. You don't want to be hard, you want to be dead tired. You want to have high levels of energy throughout the throughout your training. So and 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 if you're doing everything that's in the program, you have the outdoor stuff. You have your speed. Um, and your speed and footwork, and then you and then you go in the weight room for another hour, hour and a half, or two hours, or whatever. So you have to keep your energy levels up. And okay, and I didn't say this before, but you should your meals should be should be structured. You should instead of three meals, you should eat six meals, five to six meals per um, per day. You know your meal should be laid out about every three hours. And what this does is that instead of your energy levels going like this. Throughout the day, from 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 the way you're eating, they stay level, you know, and they stay pretty level and they stay high. And so you want to keep your energy levels up by eating meals throughout the day, you know, small meals, but meals that that enable you to uh, to to keep a positive calorie balance. And it makes that easier because if you try to do that in three big meals, it's going to be a chore. I mean, it's already a chore, especially if you're trying to eat to support your training. But it's a lot easier if you break it down into six meals and eat those six meals every three hours. And um, so, um, yeah. And um, my man asked uh, if I if I had if I could create create a program for him. Yeah, I can. I can help you create one. And a thing about it. One thing about it is you have to structure your meal plan um, so that you like the food. Um, it, it, it's you know you you can't be all pie in the sky and try to put in all these super healthy foods that you don't like because you're not going to stick to it. That's what, like, same thing with diets. Most people don't stick to diets because they don't like the food. You know you have to excuse me you have to pick foods that you like that are still healthy and still um, help you to get all the nutrients and things that you need. But but. And, and you know and help support your training but you have to like the food you know that if you don't like it you're not gonna stick to it and so and then you like and then like uh, Lauren asked you know you have to give yourself some some cheat days um, so um, uh, any more questions oh oh um, Aaron yeah man hey, hey man no problem man like I said uh, this is what that's why I do this you know, I've been through it. I've been there. You know, um, I tell people all the time, this is a this this business um, for my pro guys out there. This is a tough. It's a tough business. You know, it, it's it's you're gonna be told no. You know, and the the thing is to push through, keep pushing through, um, and that's that's what makes you grow as a person. When when people tell you no and you keep pushing through and you and you're stubborn, you know that's you know people ask me you know what I what I do it over again I definitely would because it, you grow as a person you realize really nothing can stop you the only thing that can stop you is you you know I don't care what nobody I don't care what I'm the most stubborn guy you know ever so um, don't let anybody tell you no um, so as far as diet um, stuff. Let's see. You guys have any more any more questions? Um, you said Gatorade doing workouts. No more questions. Um, so let's see. Let me touch on some things I may have missed. So I said, you know, I, I talked about structuring your workouts. I talked about the body bug. Um, uh, you 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 guys you want to have a meal plan like that's big you know it 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 definitely saves your wallet uh, it definitely you know when you when you walk into a grocery store you know exactly what it is you're going in there to eat 
and so um, you know you you already you have a budget. Your meal plan is also serves as a budget for for your meal. So you already know when you go into a store what you're going to buy for your for the for the week or for two weeks or whatever you go in there and buy. But it it serves as a budget so that you and you stay true to it and you know what's going into your body. You should always know what's going in your body and you have to be a stickler. You have to be you have to be picky. You know, I measured everything. You have to measure everything. It has to um, my man Aaron said his 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 coworkers said he was overdoing it. Yes, it has to seem like you're overdoing it, you know. Um, I had a scale you know, because it's important, especially if you're if you're trying to make it, you're trying to go to the next level. For my high school guys who are trying to go to college, or my college guys trying to go pro, like you need every edge you can get, and your diet is a big one. Um, so if you can, you know, um, you have to be a stickler. If you can, you know, make sure you record everything. Everything is is nice and tight, and you know, you have your meal plan. I was just watching. Uh, um, I was watching the. Uh, it was some stuff on the NFL Network, and uh, the quarterback for the Seahawks. I forget. I forget these guys' name. Like I know a lot of guys in the league, so I don't. You know, I'm not like. I, I forget his name, but the quarterback for the Seahawks. Uh, he had his meal plan in his locker, you know, and that's kind of how you have to be. You have to be a stickler about it because it's important. Your meal, your diet is important. You know, keep your meal plan on you at all times. You know, have an alarm that tells you when you're supposed to eat your eat these meals. You know, oh, okay, snack time. Okay, lunch time. Okay, you know, have an alarm in your phone. You know, the smartphones they got these all these alarms and cool stuff, cool stuff you can use. So have all that stuff ready, um, and and get it right because your diet is super important. You know, if what without without a, a great diet, you won't get great results. And so, um, I hope you know. Let's see. Okay, so we have some more. Some more. So, is it possible to gain muscle and lose fat at once? Oh, that one. That one, uh, Lauren. That is that is hard. Um, that is very hard. So, I did it, and it it, it was hard. So, I, I went from a I went from uh, 185 at uh, 10 percent, uh, 12 percent body fat to 195 at 10% uh, body fat. So I was 185 at 12% and I went to 195 at 10%, which really means I didn't lose any fat. So it's that one is kind of, it's, it's almost impossible to do. Um, I would recommend if you're, you know, to, to basically, if you're going to, I would recommend to build the muscle and then trim, you know, just build the muscle and then kind of go through a, uh, a, um, a trimming phase or whatever, you know, put yourself in like a three week trimming phase. Um, because trying to do both at once is, is, it's almost, it's almost physiologically impossible. The way your body is built is, it's, it's super hard to do that. Um, so, you know, I would, like I said, I would, I would put on the muscle first and then trim. I hope that, I hope that helps answer uh, that question. Um, why aren't there white cornerbacks in the NFL? <laughs> I stay <laughs> um, uh, Why aren't uh, should I take creatine? I'm not going to answer the one about the white cornerbacks in the NFL. Um, should I take <laughs> should I take creatine before games? Well, taking it before a game. Uh, I mean, it, it you know the thing about creatine is if if you supplement with it. Taking it before the game, you know, uh, it will. It might have an effect. Yeah, I mean, yeah, it, it 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 could have an effect. You know, I think for creatine, it's more of a prolonged doing it consistently, and so you always have that uh the 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 extra creatine and you know, and you. Know, I don't know about like taking it before game. I don't really. I don't know if that adds too much. It adds a lot to your performance. The thing about creatine is the the reason you're taking it is it. It's not because it makes you stronger. It's because it gives your muscles more fuel to work. So it could work in that aspect, you know, give you more, um, you know, muscular sp uh, speed, endurance, things like that. But I don't, it, I don't think it's going to help you too much in a game. It's, it's 
creatine is for is for training and you know enabling you to train more. But I I will caution you guys with creatine. It 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 sucks up a lot of water. You have to take a lot of water when you're using it. This is from experience. I caught a cramp in my quad and my hamstring at the same time outside of the gym and I was like sitting in the parking lot. Um, I was like on the ground in the parking lot, like trying to get it in that position, you know, and it, it sucks. So make sure you, uh, you, you drink water with creatine because it will suck the water out of you. Um, how important is sleep? Um, Aaron, uh, very important. Um, you have to, you know, I would, you know, I would say get your eight hours, get, please get your eight hours, um, because the thing about it is sleep is when your body heals and replenishes itself. Um, even your nervous system, you know, your neuromuscular system, not just your muscles, but your neuromuscular system, your nervous system too. So, you know, when you keep, and when you keep training and not resting, you're depleting, you're depleting um, your central nervous system and, 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 and the more you keep doing that, the more you, you open yourself up for, uh, for injury. So I would definitely recommend you get sleep. You know, all that stuff, everything matters. It's harder to see in football. I was a track guy. And so in track, things are measured in hundreds of seconds. And so you can kind of get, you can start to get a feel for when things aren't right. Because you see, okay, this, today I ran a, you know, a 10 point, or I was a 400 guy. A, a 47.5 instead of I wanted to run a 47.3 and what did I do wrong this week? Oh, I didn't sleep as much. Or I, so you can kind of see those little minute details that's harder to see in football because football is four seconds of, you know, and it's not timed, it's not measured. Um, and that goes into another thing, measuring your training, measuring everything. But um, all this stuff matters. You know, everything matters, especially when it, you know when it comes to your performance and performing at a high level. Everything matters. Um, so, how do you deal with sprint training and running during the cold months? Um, warm up, <laughs> Sunny. Um, Sunny Johnson asked that. How do you deal with sprint training and running during the cold months? You could try to find a gym. You know, sprint in the gym. Um, if you sprint outside, I recommend wearing. You know warm clothes um, and warm up. If you're somewhere where it's like impossible to go outside, like Wisconsin or Minnesota, um, find a gym, find an indoor uh, track and, uh, you know, try to find somewhere indoors where you can get, you know, you can, if you can find a track, you can spike up and, uh, um, and hit them. So, uh, Lauren, Lauren asks, how can I eat my meal plan when I'm in high school? Um, I don't understand the question. What? I don't, under, I don't understand that question. Um, how can I eat my meal plan when I'm in high school? I mean, I'm going to refresh this. Okay. Um, Create, yeah, create your meal plan. Are, are you saying because maybe you don't have the funds to 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 um, buy your food or um, I don't I don't understand that question. You know, you have to make you you have to create your meal plan. You know, you can base it. You can you can you know um, base it off of all the resources you have at hand. Um, you know, base it also base it on foods that you eat, but being in high school or not doesn't 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 matter. You should you should have a meal plan regardless of whether you're in high school. Is it okay to do weight training in the morning? <laughs> Guys, this is about diet. No, it's okay. Um, is it okay to do weight training in the morning then sprints in the afternoon? Um, yeah, you can do that because you get enough rest. Um, so yeah, you know. But I would I would always I always recommend people doing the the outside stuff first. Because it's kind of like the more important stuff, you know, especially the, the speed training and the DB drills. You know, the, the thing about it is you want to burn things into your muscle memory. And then the strength is to support, is to support it. So, you know, the, the, the sprints and the DB drills, that stuff should come first. Um, but if you, if you give yourself enough time to rest, I mean, 
I would I wouldn't recommend it because if you want the maximum if you want maximum results, you you should you know the the most important thing should come first because even if you do it later, you you after you do a workout after you um you know complete a workout your body needs time to uh, repair and I would and and so even if you do do that second workout you're still going to be slightly tired you're not going to be able to go a uh, 100% and push that 100% like you would have had you done it first so I would definitely recommend you do your uh, your speed and footwork and DB drills um, uh, and agility work first before you lift weights always just because of the way your body works um, you, you know you want to get maximum results and the way you get those maximum results is performing the, the, the most important stuff first um, I'm, I'm Ritipal, son of Paul. I hope I'm getting that right. He says, uh, I'm a high school cornerback. Just wondering if it's more important for me to do weight training or footwork skills on the field. Uh, I'm Ritipal. I'm Ritipal. Uh, it's, it's important to do both. Um, you should be doing both. You Like like I said, you know, you have your speed and um, DB skills and you have your weight training, which supports it. You know, um, speed is and I said this in, in last week's hangout if you pick up any two balls a six pound ball and a 12 pound ball and you throw them you'll be able to throw the, the six pound ball further and that's because relative to it you're stronger so in order for you to build that strength you you have to get in the weight room you know start start doing your squat one legged squats start doing your squats you know build the amount of force you can produce and that supports you know when you when you come out of your break and you you know and you can you hit that gear or or whether you go up for a ball or you run through a ball carrier, that 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 force is what you need, and you know, to increasing that force is what you need to increase your performance on the field. So the weight training supports the the speed work and DB and DB drills. You know, it's a, it's 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 what supports it. So I recommend you do both. Um, so let's see, we have any more questions? I'm going to refresh this. Oops. So, um, there's no more questions right now. So, as of now, we don't. Um, what I want to do, um, and you guys can give me your your feedback on this is put a meal meal plan creation tool into the into the program um, is I, I, I want to put a meal plan creation tool into the into the program so people can um, can uh, you know kinda create their own their own thing I would uh, if you guys give me feedback on that tell me if that's something you would like um, because you know your diet is super important I mean I was gonna do it anyway just because I'm stubborn like that and I know how important it is but you know if you guys had um, if you guys would want that let me know because I, 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 I think I, it's it's 100 percent important so if, if there's let's see do we have any okay what type of so Aaron asks uh, what type of foods should be a part of your last meal before you sleep um, you know, I've never, um, got into, you know, the things you should eat. I, I mean, you, you, you definitely don't want to eat anything too heavy before you sleep. But like I said, your meals should be broken down into six small meals per, you know, six small meals throughout the day. And your last meal should prefer, preferably be, um, about, you know, two, two uh, you know an hour to three hours before you go to sleep anyway so it wouldn't matter but um, I say stay away from heavy stuff you know don't eat a lot of fats things with a lot of fat in it because fat sits in your stomach um, yeah you know um, just stay away from the heavy greasy stuff okay cool okay do it that would be really good okay um, yeah so 
I just wanted to, you know, get a feel for if you guys, if that's something you guys would like. Um, yeah, so, it's, yeah, as far as eating before you sleep, you know, you, you should give yourself a good hour, at least an hour before you go to sleep anyway, and it should be one of those small, six small meals that you eat throughout the day. You know, preferably, like I said, something not too heavy. Um, no milk. <laughs> you know, those late nights, uh, um, the late night, the bowls of cereal, that type of stuff, leave it alone. <laughs> um, yeah, so, you know, if you guys have any, like I said, I always say, um, this is not the only place you guys can ask me questions. If you have any questions, you can always email me at um, cornerbacktraining at gmail.com. I'm sorry. Well, yeah, that's 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 one. You can also email me at dennis at cornerbacktraining.com, or you can email me at dennis at greatcornerback.com. Um, and you can always, you know, you can comment on, on videos. I, I check the comments all the time. You can um, come to the Facebook page if you search for... Go to um, YouTube, search for Great Cornerback. You can catch me there. Um, so, um, yeah, you know, I mean, I hope I answered questions that helped you to learn how to maximize your diet. You know, like I said, you want those 60 percent 60 carbs, sixty percent, uh, twenty percent fat, twenty percent um, protein. You know, measure everything you eat, log your meals, create a meal plan. You know. Put it all together, you know, if, if, if you're not getting everything you need from your meals, um, throw in the supplements. You know, that's where the supplements come in. They supplement an already good diet. You know, supplements are not something you just take um, just because you're, you, you get the diet part first. I'm sorry, you get the, the diet part right first and then add supplements. You know, that's the same thing I said about training with, with, with weights and implements. You get the form and, and all that stuff down first. Get the basics down first and then add the implements. Same thing goes with your diet. You know, get that right, then add the supplements. So, um, you know, with that being said, I hope you guys, if you have any more questions, okay. Um, check out Morios. You'd love them. Morios, huh? Um... Lauren asks, "Are you still trying to make it to the? Uh, are you still trying to make it to the NFL?" And so, you know, um, one thing I didn't, I haven't, I, I didn't say is so. The one, the thing that stopped me, because nothing was going to stop me, but the thing that stopped me was uh, tendonitis in my knee, and that's another thing I'm going to get into is how to avoid injuries. Um, one of these hangouts, I'm gonna start. I'm gonna talk about how to avoid how to avoid injuries because injuries suck. So what stopped me was a was a tendonitis in my knee, and I made it worse by trying to train through it and being pigheaded. And I tried to train through it, you know, because you want to get on, you know, it's your it's your career. So I tried to train through it and made it worse until you know somebody told me, look, dude, you just gotta sit down, and let it heal. And so with that being said, you know, I'm thinking about making another run at it. Like I said, um, I sent you guys an email. I mean, a, a, a post that I would start training and I would do the program so you could see, you know, you can see an example of somebody going through it and the results I get. I'm going to post my results and so that you guys can, you know, you can actually see, you know, this is not something I just talk about. This is something that I've done and I do. And so um, I'm going to start posting those to this page, to this, uh, um, this I'm sorry, this channel. I'm also posted the Facebook page, but this channel so you guys can see. And 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 kind of get a model for what the process is, because people learn from models. You know, it's hard to tell people stuff; they have to see it. So, uh, are you still trying? Um, I'm sorry, um, Morios. Okay, so if there's if there's, let's see if there are any more questions. Um, yeah, so guys, if there if there aren't any more questions, um, you know, um, I hope you you know I hope you learned some stuff. Uh, I have to go right now. I have to be somewhere at six. But if hey, if if you have, like I said, if you have any questions, you can always email me. You can always uh, hit me on the site, uh, the comment section in the site. 
um, at greatcornerback.com. You can email me at uh, cornerbacktraining at gmail.com. Um, and, uh, you know, train hard. You know, Happy New Year. Um, it's time to get it. You know, I, I know a lot of the guys you got, you, you guys got a um, spring, spring training coming up and, you know, and guys like, you know, pro, pro, pro guys like Aaron, you guys have uh, tryouts coming up. And so, you know, uh, it's time to get it. I'm going to continue to add to the program. You know, this is not, this is, it, it's, I, it's already, um, I believe it's already pretty good, but I, we're, we're working to make it better. We're always going to be working to make it better to help guys out. And so if you want it, like I said, it's still at $75. Um, go to cornerbacktraining.com. Um, you can sign up for the for the six week trial. If you're consistent with your workouts, I'll give it to you for free. I I just I like to reward hard work. So if you guys are consistent, you work hard. Program is yours free. Um, for every workout you miss, it goes up ten bucks. So make sure you don't miss any workouts. So um, yeah, and that's it. Um, so with that being said, you guys have a good night. Um, um, let's see next week's topic. I haven't decided next week's topic yet. Um, I've been getting a lot of questions about a bunch of different stuff, so um, I'm going to uh, I'm gonna, I'm going to get into that. Uh, I'm going to probably give you sorry, give you guys something by uh, the weekend. But um, if you have any oh if you have any kind of topic you want to talk about, uh, let me know in the comment sections or or email me and I'll uh, you know I'll get into that. So um, with that being said, you guys have a good one and uh, train hard and good night. Bye. Sorry, I think I may have turned it off. There we go. Stop broadcast.